Hello students. Today I will tell you about transitive and intransitive verbs. Before that we must know what is a verb. A verb is a word that shows action or a state of being. Verbs express an action like bring, change, grow, consider. Verbs also express a state of being. For example, is, are, was, etc. Now, what is a transitive verb? A transitive verb is an action verb that is followed by a noun or pronoun that receives the action. A transitive verb has a direct object. A direct object can be found by asking whom or what about an action verb. For example, his landlord is raising the rent. In this sentence, landlord is a subject, raising is an action verb and rent is a direct object. To find out the direct object, let's put a question by asking what. What is his landlord raising? So the question is, what is his landlord raising? The answer will be rent. So here rent is a direct object. Let's look at some more examples. Our cat caught a mouse. If we ask a question, what did our cat catch? So the answer will be a mouse. So if we are getting the answer of what or whom in a sentence, that means in that sentence, the presence of direct object is there. So, in that sentence, the verb will be in transitive form. Next example is, the boss saw her in town. So, if we ask a question, whom did the boss see in the town? So, the answer will be, the boss saw her. So, in this sentence, her is your direct object. Students, the meaning of a transitive verb is incomplete without a direct object. Now, what is an intransitive verb? Verbs that don't take direct objects are called intransitive verbs. The meaning of an intransitive verb is complete by its own. For example, she is tending. In this sentence, there is no need of any direct object to complete this, the meaning of this sentence. So here in this sentence, standing is an intransitive verb. Some more examples of intransitive verbs are The sun rises in the east. She walks quickly. In these sentences, rises and walks are intransitive verbs. Here are some more examples of intransitive verbs. The verbs that are highlighted with green color are intransitive verbs. Let's go. The kids are jumping. Sam is sleeping. We will talk tomorrow. He sits here. Her stomach aches sometimes after lunch. So these are intransitive verbs because they don't require any direct object to complete their meaning. Many English verbs can be used both as transitive and intransitive verbs. Now, what does that mean? It means that you can use them with a direct object or without, depending on the sentence. For example, we won. We won the game. Both of these sentences are correct. The verb one is intransitive in the first sentence and transitive in the second one. Here we have some verbs which are used in transitive as well as in intransitive form. Speak. I would like to speak with you. In intransitive, let's speak. Next is read. We are reading your new book. We are reading. 
cancel it cancelled the reservation and in intransitor it cancelled agree i agree with you i agree count we count on her assistance that counts i hope this topic is clear to you everyone thank you